what's going on? YouTube is Donnie B all day. It's 2020. I even came up with a couple, a couple new shirts. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to, to show you this, but I think so. Can y'all see that? I don't know. I don't know because I can't see you seeing me. So this is what we're gonna do. We man, 2020 is gonna be off the charts, guys. First of all, happy new year. Happy freaking new year. It's 2020. Now, here's the thing. If if you grew up in like the 80s and whatnot, even the 70s, every one of the, the movies that you saw back in the day that had anything to do with the future, there's flying cars everywhere. This is supposed to be like the Jetsons right now. So any minute you're going to walk outside and yo, everything's going to be flying. It's 2020. It's supposed to be that way. So we have got some stuff coming. Man, man, man. And today we're gonna actually do something. We're gonna do a little. We're gonna do a little test out review type thing today. But um, I am gonna explain to you a couple things. One, this guy right here, right? This is the 1858 uh, Remington, right? And it is cap and ball. And what we are going to do is turn this into a 45 long Colt. That's right. So it's going to take actual bullets that you shove in there in the shell um and that's gonna be pretty cool i might even take down the um the grip a bit i might round it out um but we'll see we'll see but that's gonna be pretty cool man that's gonna be a cool build so this will be black powder no more that's gonna be a cool one outside of that it's knives 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 freaking more knives and a couple more knives might even throw a little meal in there or two but <clears throat> oh the moly uh coming to me <clears throat> coming to me on the way here first of all what i already have here i showed you guys already i showed you that we have the bk2 waiting to go i show you that we have the rat 3 ready to go I showed you we got some more hen and rooster. We got some more cold steel. We got some more of this, a little bit of that, some of this and some of that, some steel wheels and all that. Woo! I just ordered uh, a few new pieces that are coming in. Two Gil Hibben blades. <clears throat> one, um, one that was uh, like an Expendables knife, Stallone's. And another one that's just a smaller version of it. Uh, then I picked up... <laughs> we have um, the Tops Operator 7 coming. Guys, wait till you see this knife. I ordered both, both Rambo knives from Last Blood. Uh, pretty stoked about that. Uh, what else did we order? Picked up, um, I picked up a, uh, like a, like a, almost like a budget style Crocodile Dundee knife. Um, picked up more of those. So the big buoy lovers, you guys are going to be getting some big knives too. Um, and just a, it's just a bunch of other stuff. All right. Ooh, a new condor that's going to come in that it could give, could give the, uh, the Becker BK2 a run for its money. So we're going to see how that goes, but lots of stuff, lots and lots of stuff. That's not what we're talking about today though. Today, this is 2020. We're going to get the first one out of the door. So first knife of 2020 is one that I made. This is the Brush Demon. This is a D-Bad Custom. Now, you'll notice this shape right here. It comes down and up and then up and then down. So it's got like a recurve to it. And then it's got like the El Chete tip right here. Um, and it is uh, 1055 uh, high carbon. Um, it is all heat treated. It's tempered. Everything is good. It's so good. It's on fire. Wah! So the Bush Demon was just a little something. I saw this one knife. Somebody recommended one to me and I looked at it and there was things I liked about it and there was things I didn't. The handle on it was beautiful. It was a gorgeous handle. Um, this one I just did up the way it is because I just needed it to be functional. That's what I wanted. I wanted something that I can actually use. Um, and, uh, it, it turned out pretty good. It's pretty sharp. It's pretty sharp. It's not shave sharp. It's it's a uh, machete. It's a machete edge. So it is what it is as far as the edge, but it's a sharp machete edge. Um, I mean, y'all cause maybe not see that, but yeah, that edge is that edge is pretty sharp. So we're gonna get this diving into some stuff outside. 
just to show you what old D-Bad can do with some customs. I love making um, making blades from machete steel. A, it's so much faster um, than using quarter inch stock, obviously, but there's so much more you can do that to shape machete steel is so easy. And um, I love it. I, I love changing um, steel shape, you know, when you get a nice rectangular piece of steel and you turn it into something like this, makes you feel good, makes you feel even better when you start using it and the thing actually works. So that's what we're gonna do is we're gonna work this guy. This is my brush demon. This is a D-Bad original. And we are looking at 16 inches in the, um, in the blade and an overall of 21, making it a five inch handle, obviously. Um, we are gonna take this outside right now and we are just gonna go hack at some stuff. Hack it and whack it. All oh, you 15 year old kids, you know what I'm talking about. So let's go outside, Sears catalog time. And uh, let's put this thing through the, through the ringer and uh, see how good it goes. Even for, um, for short chops, this little thumb rest right here. Ooh, man, look at how perfect that is. It just follows the thumb perfect. And instead of coming all the way in and then this way, I brought it back out to maintain strength. And then the recurve, I jumped up right here. You can see it's a step. And then it climbs all the way through before I cut it back down. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Um, so it should be good. Let's uh, let's take it out. All right, so we can't have a, uh, a brush demon if it doesn't go from through brush and stuff. And right here, this is all pretty nasty thorns and whatnot. So, oh, it's so sharp. Make sure I'm actually in there, I can't see. Holy Moses. So yeah, as far as chopping through, um, through br ah, freaking pricker. Ah, 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 ah. Um, as far as uh, chopping through brush and stuff like that, this thing's not gonna be any problem. So what we need to do is figure out um, what else it can go through and by what else I mean the bigger stuff yeah of course of course it sticks in why wouldn't it so let's uh let's see if we can't hit some one inch forest trees man I got thorns growing out of everywhere down here where'd all these come from probably the thorn fairy I hate that witch I said witch with a w but I meant it with a b all right, so we got all that down. Now here we go. We got some one-inch forest stuff, some nice danglers. Woo! We got some other stuff right here. Woo! I didn't even look. I just looked at you guys because I know it's good. I know it's good. So let's see. Let's see here. We got this guy right there. Let's see. It's hard to swing without looking. But when you have a brush demon in your hands, when you get a D-Bad custom, when D-Bad, when Donnie B all day decides, I'm going to make a custom. Well, let me tell you, that custom is going to work. I'm wondering if I could perch you guys up here in a way. I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can. I might have to just... Open this thing up. That's what we're going to do. Hold on. Hold on. It's not going to take very long to open you all up. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just extending just extending the tripod so I don't have to hold it. And that's good. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. So what do you get when you get a D-Bad custom machete? Well, you get all the proper use of a custom machete. And that's it. That's it. And it has a cool name on it. So let's see. How sharp is it? How sharp is it? How sharp is it? Did, did we talk about that yet? How sharp is it? Uh, cucumber salad right there. That's pretty. So let's see. Let's see here. Let's see here. Try to keep you guys in. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh, that linguine looks like some kind of spinach pasta. So, let's see. Oh, I went too deep there. 
went too deep, picked up a big piece of bro. I'm taking them all off. Let's try this. Let's try this. Oh yeah. I'm trying to balance it on my neck, so I'm not getting any stability. But you can see what's happening here. It's all working until I cut them off. So now, let's try this. Let's try this, boys and girls. Let's put it here. And let's try and do some... Yeah, here we go. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha you without jacking up my fence post. There we go. There we go. D-Bad Machete. And you're thinking, well, what are you doing, D-Bad? Is that your real name? Well, what I'm doing is I'm bringing it to a point without wasting all my time um, just carving. So once you get it down, now it only takes um, less swipes to get it in. So, or get it out or turn it into a spike. So, that's it. Let's see. I still got y'all in there. Let's see. Oh, I just cut right through my 4x4. Four four. Not supposed to do that. Let's, uh, let's hit something bigger. Let's hit something bigger and thicker and meaner and leaner. Oh, speaking of leaner, the weight my lean-to finally came down that I built a year ago. It finally came down. Well, let's see. Let's see how this stayed in. Now I can go get my steps and take them out. Remember this video? Remember this video? Man, those things work great. All right, so here we go. Here we go. That's a tree. Oh, that's a tree. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Wow. That's a... Uh, for a machete, which is supposed to be through lightweight stuff. That's cutting some uh, not lightweight wood. Oh, maybe you can get a better look. Better look at this design. You know what happened is, I went to my uh, to my design shop where they do all my, my gear, my D-Bad gear, and they got new computers. So they, my logo isn't on there, so I had to resend it to them. But while I was in there, I had these two shirts that I went to get done. So I said, well, I said, uh, I said, let's do this. And I designed that one on the spot. And I was like, maybe we can still come up with something. And uh, that's what I did. So I, I did two shirts so I could wear around, promote the brand, promote the channel. And because uh, the more you guys come here, the more 2020 we're gonna have. And here's something we're gonna do in 2020 is we are going to do a few giveaways and we are going to do giveaways with uh 2000 once we reach 2000 subscribers and guys we're almost there uh once we hit 2000 subscribers then there is going to be some giveaways of some knives you all know very well and uh that's what we're gonna do it's gonna be you're gonna get a, a, a good knife like hundred dollar knife in there um for the giveaway and uh that's how we're gonna do it so tell your people get them on it say yo man you need to subscribe to this dude and watch them videos because as soon as we hit that that 2000 mark which should come pretty quick we're already at like 1.8 plus uh as soon as we hit it we're gonna start start getting some blades that we can do giveaways with and uh that's what 2020 is going to give so this was just kind of a uh, a way to open up the year and this thing get some bite and um i just wanted to show you my little custom machete that i've been working on because i love machete blades and the reason is i use them a lot so i have a a plethora a plethora of um machetes and pretty much every single one I have, um, aside from a couple cold steels, is something that I either made from scratch or like uh, Cowboy Seabop, my man, Cowboy Seabop uh, sent me one. And uh, 
I customized it. So I just love making them because, because of the fact that I know they're going to get used. I use these things like crazy. And uh, machetes are important when you live out in an area like this. You want to be able to cut through. So first one's in the books. That's it, guys. This is the D-Bad Brush Master. That's right. I love making custom machetes because I'm good at it. I'm good at it. They work. They work. Woo, says the green-shirted jerk. So that's it. Let's get to 2,000, start doing some giveaways, and get ready because whew, we got some knives coming. And I love them. I love knives. I am Donnie B all day. Until next knife.